The concept of having a space elevator to move goods from Earth to space has captivated humanity since the beginning of space travel, since it was thought to be cheaper, safer, and faster form of transportation. Although the notion has yet to be realized, Elon Musk's SpaceX has built elevator buttons for crew members to use when boarding spacecraft, which resemble the envisioned concept. SpaceX CEO Musk on Thursday tweeted a photo of the elevator's button, captioning it, Space Elevator. SpaceX has scheduled a Crew-6 mission on Monday, and this pick is from inside the tower elevator that astronauts will use as they arrive on the pad to go to the access arm and board the Dragon spacecraft for their spaceflight. What are space elevators? It's a concept theorized to make access to space easier based on the daily use of elevators, where the origin and destination are Earth and space. Space elevators are hypothetical structures that allow objects and people to be transported from Earth's surface into space without rockets. Once built, various calculations show that it would reduce space travel costs by just $100 per kilogram of payload, much less than the modern rockets on chemical fuel. However, apart from the technological challenges, the construction of an elevator requires substantial financial investments. A space elevator, also called a space bridge, star ladder, or orbital lift, is a proposed type of planet-to-space transportation system often depicted in science fiction. The main component would be a cable, a rope, anchored to the surface and extending into space. Due to the immense weight, an Earth-based space elevator cannot be constructed with a tall tower supported from below. Instead, it would consist of a cable with one end attached to the surface near the equator and another to a counterweight in space beyond geostationary orbit, or around 35,786 kilometers in altitude. The competing forces of gravity, which is stronger at the lower end, and upward centrifugal force, which is stronger at the upper back, would result in the cable being held up, under tension and stationary over a single position on Earth. With the rope deployed, climbers, or crawlers, could repeatedly climb up and down the string mechanically, releasing their cargo to and from orbit. The design would permit vehicles to travel directly between the planetary surface, such as the Earth's, and trajectory without using large rockets. In 2019, the International Academy of Astronautics published Road to the Space Elevator Era, a study report summarizing the assessment of the space elevator as of the summer of 2018. The essence is that a broad group of space professionals gathered and assessed the status of the space elevator development, each contributing their expertise and coming to similar conclusions. A. Earth space elevators seem feasible, reinforced by the IAA 2013 study conclusively, B. Space elevator develop initiation is nearer than most think. This last conclusion is based on a potential process for manufacturing macro-scale single crystal graphene with higher specific strength than carbon nanotubes. How can space elevators be made? Space elevator enthusiasts have hypothesized many techniques to build it. Some very simple and some hard for an average person to comprehend. However, all remain on paper, as anything concrete is yet to come. One of how the space elevators can be made possible is suggested by a Soviet engineer, Yuri Artsutinov, who is often credited as the first to begin developing the space elevator concept. Back in the 1960s, Artsutinov illustrated the idea in his now famous essay, Electric Train to the Cosmos based on the principle of centrifugal force that counteracts the force of gravity. The report says the elevator can be accomplished by stretching a cable from the Earth's equator into space by hanging a load to prevent it from falling back to Earth. He added the line would need to be extremely long, up to 50 or 60,000 kilometers, and the load suspended from it would need to be heavy enough to balance the weight of the cable. However, Artsudinov knew that this concept, even so simple, would require complex engineering as he predicted that it would take 200 years to build the machine. A more optimistic English science fiction writer, Arthur C. Clarke, said that space elevator could be made about 50 years after everyone stops laughing. Elon Musk has spoken out about space elevators in the past, and he has expressed some skepticism about their feasibility. A space elevator is a proposed mode of transportation that would allow people and cargo to travel from the Earth's surface to space using a long cable or tethered anchor to the ground. 
In a 2014 interview with CNBC, Musk said, I'm not super bullish on the space elevator. The thing about the space elevator is that it's completely unfeasible. He went on to explain that the cable needed for a space elevator would need to be incredibly strong, but also incredibly light, and that no material currently exists that could meet those requirements. However, in a 2018 interview with the podcast Recode Decode, Musk seemed to be slightly more optimistic about the possibility of a space elevator. He said, I'm not sure we'll ever do it, but it's a very interesting concept. He also suggested that a more practical way to get to space would be to use reusable rockets, such as those being developed by his company, SpaceX. Overall, Musk's views on space elevators seem to be somewhat cautious, with a recognition of the technological challenges involved in building one. However, he has also shown an openness to new and innovative ideas for space transportation. Elon Musk, who wants to colonize Mars, believes space elevators are unrealistic. In an interview, he said that building a bridge between Los Angeles and Tokyo is more accessible than making an elevator into orbit. However, he expressed hope that he would be wrong with his assessment. The theory of space elevators is based on the idea of using a long cable or tethered anchor to Earth's surface to transport people and cargo from the surface of the Earth into space. The concept was first proposed by Russian scientist Konstantin Solyovsky in 1895 and was later popularized by Arthur C. Clarke in his 1979 novel The Foundations of Paradise. The basic idea behind the space elevator is to use the centrifugal force generated by the Earth's rotation to keep the cable taunt, while a climber car travels up and down the cable, carrying people or cargo. The cable would need to be incredibly strong and lightweight, and would need to be anchored to the Earth's surface at one end, and a counterweight in space at the other end. The main benefit of a space elevator is that it could potentially reduce the cost and complexity of getting into space. By eliminating the need for rockets to launch from Earth's surface, a space elevator could make space travel more affordable and accessible. It could also enable the construction of large structures in space, such as a space station, without the need for costly and time-consuming launches. However, the construction of a space elevator would be a significant engineering challenge, requiring the development of new materials and technologies. The cable would need to be able to withstand the extreme stresses of Earth's gravity and the harsh environment of space, while the climber car would need to be able to travel at high speeds and carry heavy payloads. Despite these challenges, some researchers and engineers continue to explore the feasibility of space elevators, and it remains an intriguing concept for the future of space travel. Creating space elevators is based on making access to space possible daily, where the origin point is Earth and the destination is space. If built in the future, space elevators can transfer people and objects from the surface of the Earth to space without the need for rockets. As per various calculations, the space elevators, once created, can reduce space travel costs by $100 per kilogram of payload, which is significantly less than rockets that run on chemical fuel. Elon Musk, who wishes to colonize Mars one day, believes that space elevators cannot exist. In an interview, Musk said it is comparably easier to build a bridge between Tokyo and Los Angeles than create an elevator to orbit. However, Musk hopes that his assessment can be proved wrong someday. Elon Musk has expressed interest in the concept of space elevators in the past, but he has also expressed skepticism about their feasibility in the near term. In a 2018 interview with Recode, Musk stated that while he believes space elevators were a really interesting idea, he thought they were not realistic in the short term. Due to technical challenges such as the need for a material strong enough to support the elevator's weight and the difficulty of maintaining the elevator's stability. Musk also suggested other ways to reduce the cost of space travel, such as reusable rockets and spacecraft, as well as developing new technologies as the Starship spacecraft currently being developed by his SpaceX company. Overall, while Musk has shown interest in the concept of space elevators, he has not made it a focus of his company's efforts. What do you think about the space elevator? Will it be Elon Musk's next big venture? Let us know in the comments section. So this was all for today's video. Make sure you hit that bell icon for upcoming videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.